Today I'd like to tie for you a Dorito buzzer. The hook I have in the vise is a 37160 by Mustad. This is a size 16. It is their standard pupa scud hook. And I'm going to start out with white or cream thread. And I'm going to take about, oh, about a foot of it and pull it off the bobbin. I'm going to start tying it in and leaving a foot tag. I'm going to put it down at the eye and I'm going to take it towards the back. I'm going to go down around the bend. And keep a decent base. Pretty tight base there. And we're going to epoxy this so you can go far down and not have to worry about the fly busting. When I get down to the bottom, I'm going to take the tag end of the thread and I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to tie in that front tip. And we're, this is going to be our rib. And I'm going to tie that in and I'm going to come right back up to the top with it. And maybe one more turn on there. Let me get rid of that. And bring that thread back to the top. Try to keep it nice and level. And I'm going to bring this right back up to the head. Take my whip finish. And whip finish it. Break the thread off. Now I'm going to switch to black 6 aught 70 denier. I'm going to attach this at the eye. I'm going to take it all the way to the back. Oop. And get rid of that. And now we're going to the whole the body is going to be made all all of thread. So I'm going to let my bobbin hang and I'm going to twist it counterclockwise. And you can see the wraps in the thread they'll leave they'll go away and now you'll have a flat thread and you get a smoother body this way and you'll get several wraps and then you'll have to unwind the thread once again because it winds every wrap you take makes one more puts one wind in it and I can see I got a lot of winds in there now and twist it counter quacklet once again and continue taking it all the way down then I'm going to turn it sideways a bit and twist it again take that all the way down and now I got my rib good and come back up you want to keep this smooth and to taper the body we're gonna go back back and forth on it several times and we're gonna stop a little bit less each time
and get up to the head area. And the head area, we're going to build up a good amount on there. I'm going to stop right there for right now, and I'm going to wrap my rib. I'm actually going to twist this so it becomes one thread. So it doesn't split on me as I'm twisting it. Yeah, and you can see it splitting there. Twist it in my fingers. Back that off just a bit. There we go. And you can make your segments a little larger as you go ahead. And go ahead and wrap those segments right up the front. It's not going to hurt anything. Yeah, and wrap a bulk of your head. Wow, it slipped right out of my hand. Now I took a Doritos bag and I sliced off two thin slices off the bag of these this uh Dorito orange and the inside of the bag is silver and I'm going to tie it in so I can see the silver side and how thick how wide you cut that strip depends on the size of your fly I'm going to tie that in I'm going to take the other and I'm going to tie it in on the opposite side and I'm going to continue making a bigger head there and bring that up to the eye area Fold it over. If the bag splits, like it is several pieces, you can take that apart. I'll fold it over. Wrap that in. Fold over on my side. Wrap that in. And it's very easy to get it to where you want it just grab that and pull it I'm gonna wrap it tightly and I'm gonna cut these off I'm gonna cut them off close but watch you don't cut the other section Tie in that head. Get 
Give it a whip finish. Oop. I cut it too close. I think so. Yeah, I cut it too close, so I'm just going to give it a half hitch. Yeah, let me try that again. I'm going to take my Loon UV Clear life finish and I'm going to put just a small amount on there I'm going to take the my needle and spread it around And this is going to level off really quick. If you have to, you want to have more at the top. And give it that bulbous head. And you can see it's nice and all the way around, maybe a little more over this side. Put my needle back in. Take my light and hit it a few seconds all the way around. Yeah, and I'm going to put it some top coat on there. I'm going to put a very small layer of top coat on there. Wipe my brush off well. Man, here we have a Dorito buzzer. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.